What is a penguin's favourite singer? Seal. Hey everyone, Stephen here, and in today's video I'll be discussing five of my favourite Penguin Live lectures. Just before we begin, this video is not sponsored by Penguin Magic in any way, and everything that I do say is my own thoughts and opinions. If that sounds interesting, keep watching. So coming in at number one, we have the Penguin Lecture from Mr. Mark Mason. This was one of the very first lectures that I actually bought from Penguin Magic and it's got some really good content, some of the things I have done over the years, some things that I do continue to do. Within the lecture, Mark will teach his put and take move and his attitude force. His attitude force has helped me a lot with my uh, classic force. And I love his put and take move because you can take a card, get rid of it and it keeps coming back. As well as that, Mark Mason teaches lots of things from his Decade DVD and a lot of things that JB Magic have put out. One of my favourite things that I do like from this lecture is a, a little bit of business that Mark's got with a cut and restored rope. Basically Mark takes the rope, he suspends it in the air, takes his hands away. It's really really cool and a fantastic little bit of business that can be added to any rope routine. Coming in at number two, we have the Penguin Live Lecture from David Williamson. Honestly, David Williamson is one of my favourite magicians, and when I saw that he was doing a Penguin Live Lecture, I just had to get it. In this Penguin Live download, David Williamson will teach things from his uh, DVDs and his amazing book, The Williamson Wonders. In this lecture, David teaches two of my favourite routines, two things that are quite a big part of my act. The first one is his Torn and Transposed card transposition. This is a fantastic effect. This was actually part of my 2016 Edinburgh Fringe show, Majomedy. The second thing that I really, really love from this lecture is the fact that David teaches his ring on rope routine. This is one of my favourite routines and one of my favourite versions of this effect. I have done this both close up and on stage. This is a great lecture. David does teach a few things that can be done on stage, but they can be adapted fairly easy to be done close up. Coming in at number three, we have the Penguin Live lecture from Mr. Alan Rorison. One of my favourite things from this lecture is when Alan borrows a ring and takes the pull tab off of a can of juice invisibly links them together. This is a fantastic effect and this is one of my show me a trick things that I'll do when I'm in like a pub or a bar on a night out. So Alan teaches a lot of other things that can be used as everyday carry tricks. As well as that, Alan will teach you the effect that he used on Penn and Teller Fuller's in season one. This is a great in the hands coin matrix. So coming in at number four, we have the lecture from Mr. Mark Southworth. I was first introduced to Mark by his DVD by RSVP Magic called Surefire. And then I saw this lecture, so I went out and got this. This lecture is really, really good. Mark teaches a lot of really practical close-up magic that can be done in a working environment. There is a trick where you have a card selected and then a eight ball appears out of nowhere. So you go, it's a black eight, then you take the eight ball and squish it. This is a fantastic trick and I do use this in my working set. I do combine this with an effect by Wayne Fox called Obliterate. The second effect is a version of the two card Monte. This isn't really any different from the traditional classic version. However, Mark has combined a few things that allow you to hand out your business details. This is a fantastic effect for any working magician because it ends with the spectator getting your business card. And coming in at number five, the fifth Penguin Lecture that I really suggest that you check out is by Diamond Jim Tyler. Diamond Jim Tyler is known for his bar bets from his Bamboozler book series. In this Penguin Live Lecture, you'll learn lots of little bar bets. I personally think that every single magician should have a wide range of bar bets and propositions within their arsenal. You never know, you could be in a bar, you show someone a little bar bet, and then from that you can transition to a little magic trick and then hand your business card out. The audience member will then take home that little bar bet and the solution and probably show it to their friends. This is completely free advertising that you probably wouldn't have got. This lecture is packed full of bar bets but there's also a lot of close up magic. I really do recommend you check this out because you never know, you may just see a bar bet that you do enjoy. So there we have it, that is five Penguin Live 
lectures that I do recommend that you check out. I'd love to hear from you, so down below, leave a little comment of any Penguin Live lectures you think that we should check out. If you have enjoyed the video, remember to give me a wee thumbs up, click that subscribe button. I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.